what's my intro gonna be? Hmm. Hello and welcome, everybody. Nope, pretty sure that's taken. What up, fam? It's your boy, Orange Thief. If I ever actually do that, I want somebody to cancel my YouTube channel. Let's get into the world and see if we can find something a little more natural then. Alright, um, let's see here. Let's start back up in the bell tower. <clears throat> okay. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is The Orange Thief, and we're here for another video on Terraria, Master Mode for the Worthy. All the death and everything you've come to expect from the show, and more. <laughs> so, uh, today's episode, like I said last time, we're probably going to want to... Oh, that was a weird slide they just did there. Uh, we're probably going to do a little bit of mining today, so... We want to finish up this tower. I'm thinking we're probably going to do something like this where we have up here. I don't think I brought attention to it last time because the vocal recording was destroyed. But this right here is actually just a bunch of blocks that I've hammered down to look like platforms. And that's because they still count as livable room for villagers. Uh, this is this tower is definitely not going to be a permanent villager for out outpost, but I'm going to try to make every single one of these floors a temporary villager outpost, at least until I can start making proper houses for each villager. Now, as a caveat to that, something that I've noticed that is unfortunate about 4.4's new happiness mechanics for the villagers is that I'm very bad at getting villagers to be close enough to each other that they count as living together for the purposes of villager happiness, which means that most of my villagers are not going to be maxed out happiness, and it's a sad fact of life. But I'll still end up putting the ones that like each other living uh, nearby each other. And for some people where it's like valuable to have them extremely happy, like with um, the steampunker and such, I'll probably end up giving them a bunk or a room next to whoever makes them happy. But for now, let's go ahead and get started on mining here. Uh, we need some more materials in order to finish up this house. Uh, one of them being wood, which I already have in abundance. But an Starting off strong this episode. And one of the materials that I need is wood. Uh, but some of the other materials that I would like to get include things like gems, metals. Um, oh yeah, armor would probably be pretty wicked here. <laughs> Basically anything I can get my hands on at this point. Now if I recall correctly... First of all, let me d just dump all my garbage in here. Uh, if I recall correctly, I have a lead chest piece, but I do not have enough lead for any other armor pieces. I also, I like how I made this boomerang, and then I proceeded not to use it the entirety of the last episode. That's something that stood out to me. Um, uh, well, <clears throat> there were a lot of issues with the last episode, but I did make this really fancy boomerang and then just totally left it in the dark. So that was kind of weird. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to fix that this episode. We're going to abuse the heck out of this boomerang and hopefully not get ourselves killed in the process. Alright, come on. Go away, zombies. I've got some beauty to make. I also, uh, another thing that really stood out to me last episode, should probably start storing my money away in like not on my person so that in the event that I do die, um, I don't lose all of my money. So I'm going to put that in there. Rest not restock. Oh, for goodness sake. Where'd he go? Oh, it's just right there. Um, sort items. That's the ticket. Okay. I have a bunch of useless... Oh, right. I'm also going to bring some shine and night owl potions with me. Just because last episode seemed to be unbelievably dark. Alright. I think that should do it. We definitely don't need that anymore. Oh, and I heard a star. Oh yeah, at some point, I think I'm also going to start doing some fishing. Not entirely sure... Well, I can't get those, never mind. I'm not entirely sure if I want to go fishing on camera or if I just want to do a little montage. I guess we will see. You know what? I'm going to bring those vine ropes with me just because I've got a lot of them. Oh, I should also bring the regular... Oh, and I should bring the mining potion. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's take a second. Let's get prepared before we just go flying off. All right, so we'll bring the vine ropes. We'll bring... Our regular ropes. Shuriken? No, shuriken are kind of worthless now. Uh, I guess. What does that look like when I wear it? Oh, that's so... Not great. Okay, how about this? What does it look like if I do this? Well, that's, that's not so bad. 
Which looks better? The chains or the claws? Eh, the chains. The claws look a little pastiche. Okay, do I have any other visuals that I could possibly throw on here? Can I make any visuals that I could throw on here? Maybe if I had bothered to get other types of wood, perhaps. Let's see. Wooden pants probably won't look too great with this, but it's only 25 wood, so let's find out. Let's see. No, that looks as lame as I thought it would. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I'll probably have to deal with this, honestly. I could get one extra defense by wearing the rain hat, but it does kind of look silly with this chest piece. And frankly, at this point, I kind of prefer the defense. Even if I look sort of like... Well, I look like an orange-haired Erza from Fairy Tale. so... Uh, rest in peace. So, let's just go ahead and jump right in and start mining. Last time in the speed, t uh, the speed laps, I went mining a, t a teeny tiny bit, as you can see by this, this hole here. Uh, anyways, I, uh, I went mining for a teeny tiny bit, and I found a house that had a whole bunch of... Actually, not a whole bunch. That exactly like one nice little item for us here. I also... I'm going to replace these chains, and it's... Very curious. I actually had no idea that they could, the rope and the chain can connect. Oh boy. Uh, oops. And just for... Oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Didn't I just, like, grab a whole bunch of shine potions exclusively so I could see better? And then I didn't use them. Oh, I thought you could jump off of that. Oh. I swear I know how to play this game, guys. There we go. Ow. Ah! Oh. It's worth it. I got the rope down. Well, it is the middle of the day now. Should I put down... I'm going to put down this gold chest. Yeah, we'll, we'll end up moving everything to a more convenient locale in the near future. Also, I have this nice little painting. I'm just going to plop that there for now. Probably won't stay there, but anything that saves me a little bit of chest room. Now, these mushrooms are not my best healing potion. There's my best healing potion. There we go. Oh, do I have more room in there? Sure, I'll just pop that in there then. All right, cool. All right, cool. So we have wood, we got rope, we have potions, we have the night and shine potions that I still haven't drank. Now I'll get to them eventually. Let's go ahead and check out that house again. Here we go. Hey, the red slime. I'm gonna fill up my bestiary. So I can get the universal pylon. That would be a joke. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Torch, nope. Torches, I forgot those things are. Uh-oh. Well, just because nobody lives here anymore doesn't mean you can cause wanton destruction. There we go. I say, having cleared this area of the wall, but that's fine. I don't got to worry about such things. Also, there's definitely lava down there. Let's see, but I want to pop these pots. Cool. Healing potions, I will take. Let's put a platform right there. Oh, thought it was going to be way more lava than that. I'm going to do a vine rope coil just to get it out of... Oh, okay. What about... Oh, come on. That's annoying. Okay, cool. Can I do this? Well, that's even more annoying. How did that even happen? There we go. Actually, it's kind of aesthetically pleasing. And one more for good measure. Do a little bit of that. Okay. I can get behind that. What's going on down there? Ooh, amethysts. Oh, got it back. Oh, right. Okay. Well, let's finally do this then. That's the ticket. Mining potion, shine potion, and night owl. Now we can see things. Ooh, I always do love that the slimes. Oh, boy. Come on. I do love that the slimes mix colors when you 
uh, when they sit in one spot. It's quite pretty. Also, this boomerang is already just significantly amazing. Oh, yeah, that's that's a great boomerang. Oh, there's a thing down there. But first, I see some things up here. Rope coil. Excuse me. Oh, that's really not a great spot for that. How did that not spread any lava? Take that. Thank you. And rope coil. Wop. Coil. Wow. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Back off, back off, back off, back off. Okay, cool. Come on. Get boomeranged. Hup. That's the ticket. Okay. That was a little bit of lead. Let's take that. Maybe I can make a full set now. Yeah, that was really going to get me there. Alright, let's just go this way, because I think I see some stuff over here. Oh, boy. That worm is causing me so much anxiety. Yeah, that was a good shot. <laughs> get out of here, slime. If only early pre-hard mode wasn't too early for calming potions. Not, of course, that they seem to have any kind of real effect. spider's nest? No. But it is a nice new cave, which I will also have to take. But not before. Oh! Join it in the chorus with me, folks. I deserve that one. <laughs> oh, wait. Can I make a, a hook yet? Oh, I sure can. Oh, yes. And suddenly, mining's gotten a lot easier. Heck yeah. Mobility options. Hooks are just one of the best things in the world in this game. They just make moving around so much easier. Oh my goodness. This game is going to get so much quicker now. Especially, especially good hook maneuvering feels good. It's just There's no better way to describe it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Good hook maneuvering just feels amazing. Oh. Who even needs ropes anymore? Let's get rid of that though. That that doesn't feel good. Come on, get lost. Slime. Seriously, the 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 sheer amount of slimes here. It's it's a little gratuitous. Come on. A smooth pathway. Ah, oh, that just feels better already. One day I should make, like, just a genuine little mine shaft, just aesthetically. Anywho, let's keep going. Alright, so now I know we have to be on the lookout for traps. Ooh, lovely. I'll take some of this. But yeah, traps in Master Mode, and especially in For the Worthy, are particularly dangerous. Especially with some of the new, more devious traps they added in 1.4. Like, Journey's End traps are no joke. Dude, seriously, Slime? Yeah, thank you. Doing the world a favor there. Ooh, silver coins. Oh, and some gold. Oh, that's not great. I was kind of hoping for a platinum world. Oh, well. I'll at least take the 32 silver. A thank you. Oh, and some lead. Don't mind if I do. Now, do I want to be going down or up at this point? Okay. Oh, didn't get a choice. I see some tungsten there as well. Now, that's actually pretty decent. Tungsten pickaxe will mine meteorite. Although, by the same merit, why do I care about meteorite? Oh, the phase blade. That's right. Uh, so, I do actually want some meteors. Not that... 
Not that we get a choice anymore with 1.4, yeah. You're kind of stuck with meteors. Alright, so I've got a decent amount of lead here. I should be able to make another armor piece, right? Oh, easily the helmet. I'm wondering if this visually looks okay. And also, will it look alright without the leggings? Ah, I should go for the leggings. That's the ticket. That looks a little more well put together. Then I can just go for the helmet later. Now, this doesn't look good with the rain helmet, does it? No. <laughs> it definitely does not. And it yeah, that looks a little clownish. Okay. Fair enough. It's worth checking. Alright. It always amazes me how much reach the um the gem hooks have. Because, like, I know the spider hook, which is otherwise a pretty decent hook, it's actually kind of terrible for movement in this game. Like, it doesn't have nearly as much reach as this thing does, and it goes out decently slow, if I recall correctly. Nevertheless, it still ends up being the one that I use the most often, because it's very good for building. But, I guess we'll see what happens. Goodness, it's a slime of palooza down here. It's like an underground slime rain. Times like this made me make me wish I had a bomb. Is uh, Gelatin World Tour still an achievement? Now this is just begging for a slime to just jump down and kill me. So let's not let that happen. <laughs> oh, I see a couple of things. Oh, I love the green uh, stone moss. It's one of the most aesthetically pleasing mosses. Right next to the bright orange one, of course. <laughs> now is this gold? Oh, that is gold. That looked just like a decoration. Not gonna lie, I was totally convinced. Ooh, this doesn't look like a safe drop at all. So let's get a little bit of rope going. There we go. Oh, there's another hook. I mean, uh, rail. We. Oh, there we go. Let's take care of that jellyfish, because it's going to try to uh, jump me. I just want gold. Oh, and now there's a worm, too. Seriously? Doesn't sound like it can get to me, at least. Oh, you psychic little jellyfish. Come on. Don't get murdered. Okay, cool. Huh? Oh, what's in there? Just come on. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, is this all clay? Oh, I'm gonna have to mine up a whole bunch of this. Ah, almost had him. Probably should have just used the spear. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, look at all this clay. Absolutely incredible. Well, now I know where to come if I ever need, like, just a... Oh, is that a mushroom biome? Ow. Don't do that. Ooh. Do do that. Do that in loads. Oh, I saved that slime's life. Whoops. But also, mushroom biome. I love the 1.4 mushroom biomes. They're so huge. Oh, I could build out of a mushroom. It's kind of a niche block actually but when used properly it can be immeasurably good also that is a lot of lead in fact if i'm careful this will be more than enough lead that's the ticket oh yeah i think we can start making tools we can make a helmet i'll use the gold that i have to make a crown maybe we can get the dye trader and dye it silver or gray Really? This early? Oh, I mean, it's it's an unfavorable setup, but... Oh, okay, so this is one of the weapons that I never get this early. The, the chain knife. So this is actually a really decent weapon, but it's such a rare drop that you never really get it. It's, at least not when it's useful. Uh, the chain guillotines kind of, <laughs> funnily enough, has the same fate. It's sort of a hard mode upgrade to this weapon that you also usually only get after it's useful. 
Uh, but in this case, we got it decently early here, so I'm excited to give it a little bit of playing with. One of the things uh, men you might not know about me is that I really, really like knife-based weapons. Um, there's something about a small dagger that can absolutely tear things to shred while still looking totally innocuous. Uh, that really satisfies me, especially one on a chain like this. Just being able to throw it and pull, reel it right back in. I guess in a sense it's very similar to a, a spear, but you know. Oh well. Oh, come on. Ow! That worm is going to be the freaking death of me. Just watch. Oh, that, not that worm. Oh, it's coming. Ooh, clutch hammer throw. Uh oh. Come on. You know what? Boomerang. Just because it has better range. And I think, sadly, better DPS. <laughs> I just want the chain knife to be useful. I mean, it has better DPS in close ranges. And that's something no one can ever take from it. Of course, I could just use a sword in that case. Right. Oh man, that's a drop. And there's probably water down there, but still. Oh, the worm actually can't get up here now that it's down there. So let's do the smart thing and go down there after it. Uh, Oh, I don't like how far down this is going. Oh, I really... Okay. I really don't like how far down that went. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. All right. Back off, bat. Back off, bat. God, oh, there's so many things, good and bad. Oh, there's so much things that want my death. All right, let's... Oh, the secret slime! Ah. <sighs> Look at all those chests and heart crystals. Oh, I've got to go back down there. But not before. Oops. Oh, got my keys mixed up. Not before I make myself some armor. All right, do I have any more lead in here? Did I literally use all of it? Oh, I must have done. All right. Uh, so now we've got some good gold. Let's see. Do I have any ore in here? Well, prob probably definitely not gold ore, let's be honest. Yeah, I don't. Okay, that's fair. So, what I've got is what I got. Just six of that. Tungsten, I've got even less of. 17 lead. Oh, it was 20 for a helmet, wasn't it? Oh, man. That is unfortunate. Now, I should make a lead pickaxe. Yeah, in fact, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make a lead pickaxe. Please be light. Strong. Eh. It's all right. Oh, did I really have a, an annoying copper pickaxe? That's funny. I, You know what? I should actually check these. Um, keen. All right. Heavy. Uh, excellent. All right. Ooh, I didn't even realize it was superior. I think I pointed that out last time, actually. Never mind. Uh, let's keep our adventure going, because I saw a ton of heart crystals and chests, both down in the mushroom biome. So we just gotta live long enough to get there. Oh, hey, this is safe enough to get the tungsten out of now. But let's still plop a torch just to be safe. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do something risky here. Oh, I got it. 
<laughs> oh, that's terrible. But I did manage to snag myself a heart crystal. Hey, that's 20 more HP for them to cleave off in a single hit. Let's see. So I've got 29 tungsten now, which is seven tungsten bars, which is nowhere near enough for anything of note. Could make a tungsten short sword. Hashtag buff short sword. Rest in peace, short swords. Wait a minute. Can I make a loom? Do I already have a loom? Hold on. I thought I already had a loom. I do already have a loom. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can make silk. I can make a robe. Let's see here. I could make a robe. Ooh. How's that going to look? I do usually like the robe quite a bit. Huh. It's, it's a little nerdy. How does that look with the rain hat? If I had dyes, I could make it work, maybe. Um, how about with the umbrella hat? That doesn't look too bad, but it's a little casual. So I'm thinking maybe out in the field that could be okay. But while I'm mining, it doesn't quite fit. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that for now and just keep on keeping on. Alright, we're going to grab this. We're going to break this. We're going to grab this statue. And let's keep going because I know there's a lot of good stuff out here. Uh, that statue doesn't do anything. This statue does. Kill this thing. Thankfully, those bats are actually stuck in there. Uh, that's a ghost that I don't want to deal with right now. Come on, ghost, just die quickly. I have this opportunity. Don't make me waste it. Uh oh, here comes some piranhas. They seem to be relatively stuck. So let's loot all. Ooh, that was a good one that I just saw in there. That is a little less good. That's fine. Oh, I don't like that mother slime coming up. Oh, I really don't like that mother slime coming up. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's a lot of bombs. Oh. Did get a decent amount of, of, uh, of goods from that, though. Including, as I saw, a band of regeneration. Depending on the, the bonus on that, that might actually be really handy here. Oh, and I got a robot hat. Sick. Um, Intrepid? Ah. That's alright, I guess. I'm not using any melee speed items, but... How does a robot hat look? <laughs> nice, but niche as always. Alright, let's see here. So let's quick stack everything. I didn't get any metal bars out of that, sadly. I'm gonna chuck that out. Thorns potion, that'll be good against the boss. Spelunker will be good now. Um, put that chest away, put the mushroom chest away, even though it looks really cool. These statues for decoration later. Bombs, dynamite, sick, sick. Arrows, a hook, already, already got a hook. I forget if that hook is better. I don't think it is. Yeah, well, I've got the ingredients to craft it. I might as well. All right, so let's see here. So this hook is pretty fast and has decent reach. This hook is equally as fast and has equal reach. Actually, I I, maybe I'm imagining it, but I think it has slightly shorter. Nope, it's exactly the same reach and exactly the same uh, like speed. And the, am and the amethyst one is way more aesthetically pleasing. So that can stay there. I did get some good healing potions. I'll save that for boss fights. And 160 HP is always lovely. Archery potions will probably not see any use whatsoever. All right, let's do that again. See another heart crystal that I would really love to get. But 
but it is currently guarded by absolute death. Oh, Shelly! Why? Maybe that place is too dangerous for me right now. Maybe it's a little too dangerous for me right now. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I think we got a decent amount of materials here. Let's... Well, I actually didn't get anything that last time. But I do like this painting. It's pretty. Alright. Let's take a census of what we do have here. So, we've got 61 mushrooms. That could be cool for decorations and such, but not for this tower. We got a little bit of ores, including enough to make some armor, but not enough to do anything useful with that armor. Um, we have one gold, a singular gold, plenty of cobblestone, lots of dirt. Hmm. Yeah, I came out of that with a little less than I thought we would. Hey, you know what, though? Uh, Band of Regeneration, not bad. Not, not bad. But we're still nowhere near strong enough to be able to handle some of the threats, like the corruption on the right, or the desert. The... Actually, we can probably brave the desert now. You know what? Let's do that. Let's brave the desert now and see if we can get any more interesting materials. Especially now that we have a hook, that should be much easier. All right. Also, last time I did notice that uh, running around at night wasn't the best on the camera, so we're gonna try to try to hold a light source at any given moment from here on. All right, yeah, I think the boomerang is just kind of a better weapon, sadly. Cause I really, really like the chain knives. Ooh, yellow marigold. Yellow's not normally my color, but I think I can make it work this time. Or maybe I'll keep mining until daytime. <laughs> Maybe that's the plan. I think that was helpfully suggest. Oh, God! All right. Yeah, I think that I think that'll be the plan. I think we'll keep mining until daytime comes around. Ooh, that hurt. But it looked really, really cool. So I don't regret it. Ah, oh, that was on me. That one was on me. I just I I should make a platform over that. I really should. Oh no, not this time, Mr. Gnome. Oh, you are in for it. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't you look at me with those beady little eyes. Ah, uh, you know, maybe I'm just bad at this game. Oh, you know what it is? It's daytime which means it's time to go to the desert and hopefully not die to dandelions because it's also a windy day look i know i started this but i'm actually just gonna walk away oh you know what else i forgot to do last time actually grab some cactus because i said something about cactus armor and then i proceeded not to get any cactus even if I don't use it for armor, cactus is just good. You know, swiftness potions, thorn potions, uh, use an axe. And in the right circumstances, it's not a bad building material either. Although, I don't like three vultures just lined up in a room. Because this means I have to take care of each one of them now. Please let it be just three vultures for now. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. That's the ticket. And one last one for the road. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a pyramid in this world? That'd be pretty cool. Sadly, I don't think it's going to happen. I do like the oasis biome now, though. <sighs> okay. All right. We're in one piece, and that's what matters the most. Uh-oh. That's a thing. What's going on down there? Oh. Interesting. This is actually very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this structure before. Uh-oh. Oh, that's sad. You can't replace those. 
which is why I keep breaking these, these pots, knowing that it's just going to destroy them. That's valid. Okay, this looks like this looks to be just a regular entrance into the desert, so I'm not going to bother. Because there's no way I'm strong enough for the underground desert right now. Although, okay, oh, oh, no, no, no. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Let's see if, let's see if maybe they've rethought their, their game plan. They, they added more vultures. They didn't rethink anything. They, they added so many more vultures. Every time I go down and come back, there are more, uh, 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 I don't have any grenades. I always thought it was an interesting idea if the vultures, like, didn't fight you. Or, like, didn't even interact with you unless your health was, like, below half or something. Because they always seem like such vicious enemies. For what basically amounts to a better floating eye that can spawn during the day. It just, it seemed a little rough. Especially for a pre-hard mode enemy. God! God! Okay. Heal. There we go. Every time I kill them, there's going to be like 20 more just ahead. How many more vultures are ahead of me? Oh, just the one. And it looks like we're going back into a grassland here. Nope, never mind. Just a strange patch of grass for some reason. Alright, one last one for the road. The one thing I'm glad didn't spawn was an antlion swarmer, because those guys, they are rough. Hey there, Windy Slime. You're just going to ignore me, right? Yeah, you are. There we go. Now, this area looks gorgeous. Oh, this is... This is lovely. I like this area. There's a little bit of lead. I'm not going to go too far into it, but I can... Uh, I can snag a little bit of that... Just a, a little ore. This hill's pretty cool. Does that look like on the map? Yeah, it's just a, a gigantic outcropping of a hill out of nowhere. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Oh, no. Oh, just saw that. Dislike that. That's a nope for me, chum. Alrighty. Hup. Oh. Really gun for me there. Oh, there's another living tree. Oh, I have another chance. Oh, purple slime. Come on. Come on, man. Haven't I haven't I been through enough? No. Okay, there we go. Now let's take care of this guy. And, huh. That's the ticket. I do like that they drop day blooms. It's cute. Okay, let's get in here. Oh, we've got another chance yet, boys. Ooh, that was a that was a dramatic fall. Oh, come on. Living loom or living wood wand. I will take either. Well, this these are just regular regular chests. Oh, hey. oh, hey, a calming potion. Uh, what I would not have given for that to be a living wood loom or a wand or what have you. And I'll take the aglet. I do, I do like aglet. Especially since that's a really annoying one to farm for the boots later, but... <sighs> I guess it was just not meant to be. All these living wood trees and not a single wander loom. Oh, no, 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 you die, you die, you die now. Okay. <sighs> Wait. Oh, what's this? What's this? There's something at the door. What's this? There's actually no door. Darn it. Still not a living loom tree. 
And I mean, by the same merit, still no, like, dirt blocks in my chest. That's, I'm actually beating the odds by a ridiculous amount here, but come on, man. You had all these opportunities to give me one living wood wand or loom. That's such a beautiful aesthetic, and I'm never going to get to experience it in this playthrough. That's sad. Oh, cool. At least I got the gem corn. And I would have liked the uh, the gem itself, but, you know. I see a lot of lead here. Which I would love to snag. Ooh, is that emerald? Sick. Come on. Really? That didn't kill? Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey there, jellyfish. Oh, no. That could have been bad. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get this lead first. And then we're not staying in this cave, because we've got some exploring to do. If we're lucky, maybe we only got one corruption. That would be cool. Okay. Take the emerald. What's going on over here? This looks cool. Oh, that's a bomb. Those are more bombs. Even more bombs. Even more bombs. I basically just carpet bombed that entire area. Let's fix this up a little. Okay, that's the ticket. And there's another tree, but it's not a living tree. Well, this place is absolutely littered with the trees. None of them living. Oh, is this the oasis? As a matter of fact, it is. Oh, you know what, though? Palm wood. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's get some palm wood. This is one of the best woods in the game. It's kind of dangerous to be mining up, like, any kind of tree. Yep, for that reason. You know what, though? That's not so bad. It actually kind of speeds the process up if you look at it from a certain angle. This is the Orange Thief wishing that he had made a better axe so he could more aptly... Oh, there's a water chest down there. Alright, you gotta die. You, you are actually a threat. So let's get back in the water. Who told you you could leave there? There we go. Got some air. Uh, you know what that'd be really good for here, like this very moment, actually. Loot all. Oh, there wasn't. Oh wait, is that was that a gills potion? Ah, oh, heck yes. Okay. Let's throw one of these down. Die, die, die. I've got a gills potion, guys. I can do this all day. Uh, actually, this could be a problem. I need both of you to, to die right now. Okay. All right, let's just keep going. Okay. Eh, it's annoying that at this point I basically have to contend with every zombie I run into. And every eyeball as well. Uh-oh. This is bad. Uh-oh. This is all sorts of bad. Being out here at night is such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, okay. We're in a unique situation where we can run away. Maybe make some distance for once. That's a lava pond. What in the world am I going to do here? Alright, alright. I've got a strat.
<laughs> it involves something like that actually happening, which is quite serendipitous. Alright, Sunflower, you are actually quite a inspiration to us all. So you get to stay. Is there anything here that I can drink that'd be helpful? The calming potion. Please. And hand over that. There we go. And that should be safe, right? Yeah, it is. Excellent. Which is good, because that's an enormous lava pond. Oh, come on, guys. You don't want to do this. Oh, I've got an idea that's really... No, that's too stupid. That idea is actually too stupid to work. Ah! How did that work? This entire area is going to need a makeover at some point. I'll probably end up going through every single lava lake. And just, like, turning it into a regular lake again. I'll consider it part of the corruption. Something that has to be cleaned. Hey, bud. What do you think's going on? Huh? You want to go back in that lava? How about you just drop dead? Okay. Uh, I, I don't have problems. All right. There we go. We've got ourselves a bit of a pathway here now. Like that. Finally, a pond of water. Could you imagine? Ooh. What's in this hole? Hey, buddy. Back off. Jump in the hole. Thank you. Anything interesting? There's a chest. I know the Arcalis is now a development set, but they have that replacement sword. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I wouldn't mind getting it. Ooh, boy. Aha. There we go. Woohoo, chests. Uh, lit bombs. And spear. And grenades. Alright, what can I get rid of? I don't need these day bloom seeds. And I don't need these seeds, which keep cropping up. Uh, what else is in there? Oh, swiftness potion. I'll just drink that. Actually, would have probably been nice to just hold on to that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm suddenly moving faster. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you are. Strange how that happens. I don't need water leaf. Those things come in abundance. I do need these. I don't need so many blowpipes, and I really don't care for that. Ooh, that's lip bomb. Let's continue onwards. Oh, it's the jungle. I do. I would like some jungle wood. Rich mahogany is a nice wood. Ay! Oh, buddy. That is just mean. We do that again, but without the part where I nearly die from it. That'd be peachy keen. Is that a pinky? Oh my goodness, it's so small. Also, do you, how do you mind this? Oh, with a pickaxe. And there it goes. Bye, Pinky. I didn't even get the bamboo. Oh. Well, that was just a big old waste. <laughs> Not really, though. I actually got a decent amount of good materials here. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and end off this episode by finishing up this tower finally so that we can move on to some other things. So... I'm probably going to actually keep the format I had last time and just do a really quick speed run, a, just a fast forwarded edited version of building this tower. So I'm going to go ahead and go quiet here then and we'll see what goes on.
we did a little bit of work here. I am going to be 100% honest. I'm still not entirely happy with this setup. Again, a lot of the things that I would have that I did here, I would have done differently had I had access to uh, living wood. Uh, specifically, obviously, all the dirt here. While I do really love the texture of dirt and wood combined, it actually gives it a nice broken down rustic sort of feeling. I still would have preferred to have the living wood to give it a more reinforced look. Uh, additionally, I would have loved to have some living wood walls to kind of support this whole uh, palm wood structure here. I may end up coming back through and replacing all the basic wood with a more fitting texture, or at least overgrow it a little bit once I gain access to leafy walls and such like that. Still, for the time being, this isn't bad. I definitely have to better decorate the place once I have better furniture access. Uh, but for now, we're starting to get in a few more uh, NPCs. For instance, we got the guide now, which is going to be incredibly useful uh, as I have to cut out less of myself looking things up because, you know, 1,400 hours means that you don't remember a single thing about this game. Now, my elder bro calls me a lycanthrop. It means I'm like part animal or something. He'd, he'd know, though, because he spends all his time outside. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, so we unlock the the... Uh, zoologist here which is awesome uh, there's something a few aesthetic things the fox ears might be handy later tail probably not so much I'm not super huge on that aesthetic uh, now the koi kite is cool but I already have a kite the cat will be lovely but I don't have enough money for that and the squirrel hook this is actually a really interesting hook for traveling um, and the guide to critter companionship this is especially important in for the worthy because that means you can't hit that bunny you see that bunny down there if i hit him he goes boom i'm not gonna hit him i the fact that i even tried there kind of um <clears throat> not great on my end but if we try to hit him he blow and when he blow he bad so we're gonna go ahead and try to get that here i don't know if i actually have enough junk to sell um so i'm gonna deposit all real quick and then come over here and deposit all my inventory is such a mess. I'm actually going to loot all and quick stack deposit all. No? Okay, deposit all. Excellent. Oh, I've got so much junk in my inventory. What do I have to sell, though? It's a little hard for me to get rid of things, even if I know I'm never going to use them. It's just my nature, and it kills me, but it is what it is. Put that away. Also, I can wear this casually now let's see here umbrella hat Ooh. cool okay i'll wear that casually if i'm wearing this on the outer world though i should probably also be wearing my rain hat just for that extra defense and let's see here this probably won't be enough yeah yeah sadly not i didn't even get a single gold out of that so, we're going to have to start saving up a bit of money here. Yeah, because I, I still only got exactly one gold. Yeah, we're going to save up some money so we can get that. But for now, we've got her here. She's part of the crew. Um, the guide is also here. That's a lifesaver again. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call it off for now then. Uh, tower is starting to get there. And then we're going to start working on the background tower soon after. Um, this tower is probably going to get a lot of love in the future as we edit it up and make it look a little bit nicer um, as soon as we get more access to more materials. But even for the limited amount of stuff that we have now, I think we're doing okay. Uh, we also got ourselves a little bit of armor. And at some point or another, we should probably try to target the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, I don't think we are anywhere near strong enough for that, but... I know that if we have enough to make some settled armor, we can head on down. Where's my M key? There we go. We can head on down to this mushroom biome and try to do what's what. Because I know there's a couple of heart crystals. There's at least one there. I bet there's a couple more over there. There's a gold chest there. Yeah, this, this little area here is loaded. So if we can manage to survive down there for longer than two seconds, we'll be golden. Also, can I make an iron helmet? Oh, I can. Or, I mean, lead, but... Bam! All right, there we go. Uh, we got ourselves lead armor now. Sweet. That's uh, 13 defense. We're doing pretty good here. How's that look when I'm not wearing anything? <laughs> uh, yeah. The 
Oh, but the... Oh, the Band of Regeneration is so cute. Uh, we'll wear the shackle when we're actually mining. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm going to go ahead and call it for now then. Uh, thank you guys very much for showing up, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Uh, hasta la bye-bye for now.